Today I'm going to be making some Asian sweet and sour stir fry. Spent only four dollars for my ingredients, right? And if you were going to a Chinese restaurant, you're going to spend like fifteen dollars a plate for this. So let's get started. Well, the first thing you want to do is cook the chicken first, because that's the meat. It takes the longest to cook. I'm going to go ahead and cook this up and saute it in the pan. All right, mate. That's good color, good texture. Put a little bit of extra butter in the pan. Now I'm going to use my cheap Asian-style restaurant dollar store uh, meal. I'm going to throw that in the pan with this. Add some soy sauce and lemon and... Yep. And there it is. All done. Got some rice, chicken, broccoli. All for about four or five bucks. Can't beat that. Hell oh, yeah, people. Turn it up. It's num num time. Yummy. Life's so much fun. So, got another day's pay because uh, I have to order parts for this friggin' machine that goes in my truck. So, I'm walking home from the mechanics now. Got a two mile walk. I'm not spending 10 bucks on an Uber to take me two miles. Here's some just random views of some stuff I see on my way home. Wonderful. Streets of Philadelphia, people. And this hellish device has been the absolute bane of my existence. It's like $90 a month to fucking rent it. Uh, $75 fee if you miss a test, and a $40 fee to get the test reset for $115 if you miss a test. I fucking hate this thing. So now that piece of shit in Toxalock has cost me three fucking days worth of work now. I would love to find out who invented it. I would personally take the pleasure of sticking it in their anus and kicking it up into their throat. You will never understand cause it happens so fast and it feels so good like walking on glass. You touch it, feel it like pieces of wheat, but it doesn't even matter cause it knocks on your feet. You want it all, but you can't have it. Do you see this head? Look at this head. Oh my goodness, look at this head. I'm gonna ball this head tonight. Yeah. So, we got each other's hair. I was as gentle as a snowflake landing on the ground. And my son was as gentle as a bulldozer that fucks the earth on your head. Ooh. Macho Man Randy Savage, yeah, X-rated version, yeah. You think you want to butt fuck that fish? Yeah. Guess what? Fish ain't got a butt. Oh yeah. Wow. Hi, I'm your cat, and I'm not feeling well. I left little trails of diarrhea all over your floor. Dodge, motherfucker! Dodge. You. You're the one who did it. Don't jump up on me. I know you did it. You're the only cat that's left alive. Did you poopy all over my floor? You disgusting, beautiful creature. So, congratulations to me. My TV set has fallen off of where it should have been. So it's completely broken. My TV set is broken. And I cannot afford to replace it. So... I'm gonna stick a knife through it. 
And fuck TV! This is my TV. That's broke. I'm just happy I have a backup TV, although it's tiny as fuck! It's like I'm looking at a, um, I don't know, TV set as big as your butthole! Man, so there was a sick son of a bitch on the avenue, right? And he was offering a free can of more liquor, and all you had to do was let him sniff your bare ass. I said, man, what's wrong with you? I don't know anybody who would do such a thing. So you call Hotline for, like, finances. They've done it. You talk about a drug or alcohol program, people who's there. They've done it. So when you call a suicide hotline, who the fuck has committed suicide and can tell you not to do it?